I was so sick of that visit, dude. It wasn't the, just a visit. Were you sleeping? Just wasn't the visit to the Patriots. So what I went on like a little tour. Like you go and I visited twelve different teams. It's kind of like you're going on these recruiting visits to each team because they want to get to know you. And yeah. The New England Patriots were the last ones on the list. And bro, I was sick. I was flying from Denver to Jacksonville to freaking Baltimore, meeting with every team, and I was so sick of it. And you know, you're putting a, like kind of a front on it as well. And I was literally so sick of it. I go, I'm going to be outrageous here. I need to have some fun with it. I remember I was kind of hungover too, feeling like crap. All these flights. I went out and partied a couple of the nights too. So I, I wasn't even feeling like myself. So I was like, how do you feel, get back to normal? You just you just become outrageous. Then. Yeah. I show up, bro. I was so tired. First thing I do is fall asleep in Nancy's office. <laughs> yeah. Bill Belichick heard all about it. He couldn't believe it. And then I go into the interview session and Billy O'Brien draws a play up and then he races on the board. He's like, all right, can you, uh, you name the, what the wide receivers did, like rename their route and what their responsibility was. I was like, bro, I have no clue. I couldn't even think. <laughs> and then he's like, he's like, what do you do? I was like, you just throw me the fucking ball, Billy. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll make some guys miss. I'll run over some people. He's like, he's like, but you don't know the play. I was like, I don't need to know the play. You throw me the ball. Like that's basically how our interview went. And then I literally walked out of there, called Drew Rosenhaus. I said, this team is either going to take me or they're fucking laughing at me. And I give no fucks because I'm over this whole process. So what happens? New England Patriots trade up for me for the 42nd pick in the NFL draft in 2010 and select me. And I looked around the table. I said, I told you they were going to take me. <laughs> <laughs> but Billy O, so going back to where we started, that is Gronk yes. right there. That whole thing. And, and they built up like, I remember them talking about you, the coaches saying like, yeah, man, you're going to love this kid. He's fucking just awesome. He had like, he explained the whole thing that you just explained. And like, that was like, oh my God, what? Like that doesn't happen in New England. You know what I mean? And, and Gronk kind of, from your little story right there, you can kind of portray that you're not a smart football player, like, but you were like brilliant. Like they would explain that, like, don't think that Gronk didn't know his fucking plays. This guy, you coached him once on one thing. He never had to say it again. Like he was like one of the most football intelligent guys I knew. Yes. I mean, at that time when I was doing the interview, I was beat down. I was sick of it. So I couldn't really recall, yeah. you know, the play after he showed it to me. And then also I did struggle a little bit, though, my rookie year with the playbook i actually would have probably started every single game from the beginning my first eight games i only was playing about 15 to 20 plays a game yeah. if you can recall that and then finally boom the playbook hit i mean it was a tough playbook i mean in college i literally think i had like 15 plays and i lined up in the same spot every single play <laughs> and i get to new england and man let me tell you that playbook was outrageous and it's not just the playbook yes. it's the personnel groups you're playing y you're playing f exactly you know what i mean it's wheels you guys got a flop like it it was it was definitely tough it was definitely a challenge and the fucking formations there's so the, many goddamn it, formations it drove me crazy like i said in college i had one formation i lined up in the same spot every single play i'm not lying every single play i get to new england what 65 different formations yeah actually probably 150 different formations but then we narrowed it down to about 65 dude my head was spinning all over the place and finally it just clicked you know once i got it under control about week 10 it's remember i scored that touchdown versus the chicago bears versus uh, brian Erlacher. oh yeah uh what was that panther route where i had to just get big right at the goal line and then tom was gonna throw it low and then uh we hit it in practice that friday then we hit it in the game that sunday and since then i was starting every single play